everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm giving you some behind the scenes of the shoots that I do. I'm not always looking like the glamorous person you see, but that's all thanks to my incredible makeup artist, Emmy. I'm always asked about what lipstick I'm wearing, my skincare, I have actually no idea. So lucky for you today, she's gonna go through the entire breakdown of a look for me. We're gonna do a few looks today, but she's gonna go through the basics and how to build up on that and what she uses for Middle Eastern skin and hair. So this is gonna be fun. Let's go on this journey. Hi, I'm Emmy. I'm a makeup artist and hairstylist based in London. I've been working for Rona for three years now. We've been working Hello, together. For Rona. Yeah, she works work with him, Rona. <laughs> I've been working with Rona for three years now, um, we've done so many different looks. Um, but today, well, the look we're gonna talk through now um, is kind of like our classic. I call it the Rona, because it's very just like flawless skin, like just enhancing her beautiful and natural Middle Eastern eyes and like her natural features. Um, so at the moment, we've already done her base. With Rona, she has already like amazing flawless skin. So in terms of the base, I always use my Skin Food Relieder, which is the most amazing base for any makeup not super heavy um, and foundations I always use Charlotte Tilbury I just think it's really natural it gives a really nice flawless coverage but it's not super heavy or cakey especially for shoot so I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer it's an absolute fave in my kit I think fave in a lot of makeup artists kit it's really hydrating and it gives an amazing coverage and I also use Tarte Shape Tape for the contour um, because I feel like when I'm, if you mix too many different products in the face, I feel like sometimes they don't blend very well together. Um, and I'm just doing a really light contour on Rona. She already has insane cheekbones and I like to keep her skin looking as natural as possible. And with today's look, I don't normally do, I normally do eyeshadow ones as well, but I feel like because we're just doing a really flawless skin look, I'm just going to slightly contour Rona's nose and I also like to contour around the eye. It just gives like a little bit of a shape, um, but without it looking as heavy as using a natural um, eyeshadow. So I just do two little dots there and underneath Rona's nose. I love having a snatch nose. Yeah. <laughs> the snatch nose is a vibe and I just do a little bit underneath the brow. Um, as you can see, I'm using it such a tiny amount. So I always use a sponge to blend out because I feel like it takes, one, it gives the most amazing blend. I personally think it might blend everything so well, but it also just takes off any excess foundation or any excess makeup, um, which just lifts anything. It won't like, will stop it looking cakey. I am using the e.l.f. blush. I love the way that it blends. And we're just going to use a tiny bit. It just I feel like blush literally just makes people look healthy and alive. Like when I'm feeling crap about myself, I just cover myself in blush. You're a pegan. Pe I'm a pegan. That's a thing, isn't it? Um, Pegans are a thing. Is pegan a thing? Pegans are things that eat fish and like then vegan food. Yeah, I'm a pegan. Yeah. Although I feel like I am. Hear that, guys? Emmy is a pegan. <laughs> I know. <laughs> she, she's outing me. Going back to my Charlotte Tilbury obsession, I think it's like my favourite brand at the moment. Um, I also use the Charlotte Tilbury powders. They are an absolute must-have. Some other powders I use, I feel like, on camera, it can kind of look very drying and just like give a little bit of a cakey look, whereas I feel like this just blurs the skin out and just helps any particularly oily areas without making it look, well, still keeping a dewy kind of look to the skin. An eyeliner classic, the, the, part, the main part of the Rona looks. I feel like it just accentuates her like super gorgeous Middle Eastern eyes. Um, but I like to keep it quite thin. I feel like the super thick liner is not a vibe. I use the Maybelline Gel Pop. So if you just open your eye, if you have a look at Rona's gorgeous eyes, so basically how I do it is if you look at the waterline and you look at the direction it's going in, you're basically following that because that is where the eye is gonna be, that's where it heads anyway. And then if you have a look, it basically meets the bottom of the brow. So I always start by just running a little line across the lashes just to kind of get a little bit of a base, a little bit of a starting point.
liner is done and as you can see from like I, the hack I said, basically if you just follow the waterline, it just gives you that perfect shape where it elongates the eye in the right way, it's not drooping the eye or it's not looking really disconnected um, and it's just like a really thin line because um, I feel like when I do liner, especially with Rona, I like it to almost look like an extension of their lashes so it's almost like just ex elongating the lashes as opposed to like a really thick heavy line. Egyptian vibes going down. Channeling my inner Cleopatra. Another absolute go-to is my Morphe liners. They're so cheap, they're like £4.50 and honestly they are like the exact same as MAC that are like 18 quid or something crazy. But I'm using like a really kind of like pinky neutral colour and we're just trying to accentuate Rona's natural colour. She's already got a nice lip blush and I'm using the colour Frenchie. I've done the liner and I kind of go all over just to give like an all over colour because we're not doing like a really heavy colour. But um, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, the original. I think it's such a nice pinky colour, really neutral. And I'm just going to put that in the centre just to enhance the body of the lip as we've already lined it. I use the L'Oreal Air Volume Mascara, but because you've got to be super hygienic as a makeup artist, I use a spoolie, so this may look a bit weird, but that is the mascara I've used, but I have to use spoolie to keep everything really hygienic. Just to finish the look, I'm just going to add like a little bit of a dewy finish. This has been so abused, I don't even want to show you this product right now, but it is the, the L'Oreal Glow Drops. To complete this kind of natural look we're going for, we're going very Cher vibes today. Rowena's got loads of gorgeous hair, it's all her own, just to let you know. FYI. Uh, FYI. And always, because we're going to obviously be straightening, I'm using Tony and Guy heat protection. If you're putting heat on your hair, please put heat protection, because you are frazzling it otherwise. Um, and for this, obviously, we've done a little bit of a different look. We've done kind of 60s vibe with the lashes. It's actually so easy. I feel like I've seen, I've seen bottom ones being sold, but I feel like sometimes they can be quite heavy and glue and stuff can be quite irritating for some people's eyes if you go from the waterline. So, really easy trick. Just get some tweezers, dip the end in some lash glue, and then literally just squidge them together. Let that kind of dry a little bit and then put that same tweezers in some mascara and just go over it. And it kind of creates like a little bit of that sort of chunky 60s effect, but not having to find some of the glue in the lash line. And don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. I did a lot of just sitting and listening to Emmy today, but I think it's interesting for you to know, and we can't wait for you to see the shots. Tune in next time.